Hi everybody. Uh, I wanted to uh, give you a sense of what the sound is like from Sur, the neighbourhood under curfew in Diyarbakir. Let me just stop talking for a moment and uh, there's been very intense firefights in the, in the last few minutes. Quite been down a touch but you can still hear those volleys of gunfire in the distance. Police vehicles here perched uh, as those roads down through to Sur are still barricaded off. There were very loud volleys gunfire a few moments ago and uh, snipers perched on a rooftop in front of me looking down over Sur. Uh, there was also that's another loud explosion there. Uh, there was also acrid smoke billowing from the building here a few moments ago and uh, still helicopter overhead you can hear those gunfire in the distance Bruce Campbell are you safe? Uh, just about yeah thanks Miss <laughs> uh, Campbell is, is opposite me so knows I'm safe um, so that's the uh, this is the sense of of the sound that you're getting from uh, from inside Diabaka, the heart of the old town that's been under curfew for over 50 days. You can still hear that those loud explosions. There's machine gun fire from time to time. There's the odd small arms fire as well. And this is what has become of vast swathes of southeastern Turkey in recent weeks and months since. Uh, a police operation that the government insists is targeting just PKK militants but locals say civilians are being hit and caught in the crossfire. Just listen to that sound again. This is the main city in southeastern Turkey. This kind of sound. In the distance there are some fire engines that are perched. Uh, military vehicles have been uh, whizzing down this road in the last few minutes. Another police vehicle there. As the uh, as the conflict rages on, a little lull just now, but we get woken up from time to time when the firefight continues from our hotel which is quite close to here and uh, there has been uh, fighting, there's been shooting in other parts of the city as well and still hear some more bursts there this is not Syria, it's not Iraq it's Turkey and yet this is what you're hearing now in this in the heart of this very big city. We can't get inside Sur. Let me just one more time the uh, one of the side streets through to the city. You can see the barricades there. We can't get inside uh, the uh, the city that's that's in under curfew. Uh, we're not being uh, allowed in. The loud explosion there. Fain woman asks, what's the population of the city? We think about a million and a half. Hear more explosions there. Uh, if we were to get inside Sur, we'd be able to bring you some images from inside, but uh, but the government is not allowing us in, the authorities are not allowing us inside there at the moment. So uh, we are depending on, on eyewitness reports um, and Turkish press that is being allowed in. Um, so that's uh, just a little flavour of the atmosphere at the moment, the sounds that you hear on a daily basis in this city. I wanted to give you a sense, really, of how intense the, fire, the firefight can be from time to time. Uh, and with that, I'm going to leave you now, and uh, with more explosions ringing out in the background. Melissa says it's so horrible, I'm living in, I'm living in Diabaka. Stay safe, Melissa. worse again. 
we're losing the light a little bit and uh, I think we're gonna head back to safety uh, but uh, I hope it's given you a little sense of the atmosphere here in the heart of Diabagan. For now, bye bye. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. In the distance, there are some fire engines that are perched. Uh, military vehicles have been uh, whizzing down this road in the last few minutes. Another police vehicle there. As the uh, as the conflict rages on. A little lull just now, but we get woken up from time to time when the firefight continues from our hotel, which is quite close to here. And uh, there has been a uh, fighting. There's been shooting in other parts of the city as well. In front of me, looking down over Sur, uh, there was also it's another loud explosion there. Uh, there was. Also, acrid smoke billowing from the building here a few moments ago. And uh, still, helicopter overhead. You can hear those gunfire in the distance. Bruce Campbell, are you safe? Uh, just about, yeah, thanks. Bruce <laughs> uh, Campbell is, is opposite me to know I'm safe. Um, so that's the. Uh, this is the sense of of the sound that you're getting from uh, from inside Diabaka, the heart of the old town that's been under curfew for. And still hear some more bursts there. This is not Syria. It's not Iraq. It's Turkey, and yet this is what you're hearing now in this in the heart of this very big city. We can't get inside Sur. Let me just one more time the uh, one of the side streets through to the city. You can see the barricades there. We can't get inside uh, the uh, the city that's that's in under curfew. Uh, we're not being uh, allowed in. Really loud explosion there. Fane woman. Hi everybody. Uh, I wanted to. Uh, give you a sense of what the sound is like from Sur, the neighbourhood under curfew in Diyarbakir. Let me just stop talking for a moment and uh, there's been very intense firefights in the, in the last few minutes. Quite been down a touch but you can still hear those volleys of gunfire in the distance. Police vehicles here perched. Uh, as those roads down through to Sur are still barricaded off. There were very loud volcano gun fire a few moments ago and uh, snipers perched on a rooftop over 50 days. You can still hear that those loud explosions. There's machine gun fire from time to time. There's the odd small arms fire as well. And this is what has become of vast swathes of southeastern Turkey in recent weeks and months since uh, a police operation that the government insists is targeting just PKK militants but locals say civilians are being hit and caught in the crossfire. Just listen to that sound again. This is the main city in southeastern Turkey. Kind of sound. 